I hope that you're aware that this Wednesday is the beginning of Lent. It's Ash Wednesday. If you're not aware, well, then I guess I'm a Debbie Downer telling that to you right now. But actually, I believe that Lent should not be a Debbie Downer, but rather, Lent should be a thing we should look forward to, to be excited about. And the reason why is because Lent is an opportunity to deepen our relationship with God, to make Him our refuge, to rest in Him alone, as our responsorial psalm said today, to reprioritize our life and say, where is God in my life? And do I truly make Him my God? Of course, we look at the history of Lent. We can go back to the early church and all these converts coming into the faith, a lot of adults, of course, leaving Judaism behind or, or being Gentiles and pagans that we heard about in the gospel as well today, the pagans, and coming into the church. And because of this, they had this process where they would go through this year or two-year process of deciding they really want to become Christians. They want to be baptized into the faith. And at the end of this process, they go on this kind of journey, this spiritual journey, this spiritual retreat consisting of more prayer, more fasting, and more almsgiving. Of course, this is the focus of Lent. For 40 days, we too are called to focus on this. Now here at St. John the Baptist and Excelsior, it's beautiful. We have individuals with us, even here at Mass today, who are going through this RCIA process, the rite of Christian initiation for adults. And so they are going through this process. They may be ready on the Easter vigil to receive either baptism or confirmation. And of course, we together as a community walk this journey with them, not just to show them our support, but also realizing that we ourselves need to refocus. We ourselves need to take this time and say, where is God in my life? Of course, these past five weeks we've been reading from Matthew chapter 6. This will end this upcoming week with Lent starting. Today we have this another beautiful discourse, over and over again, beautiful discourses on the Sermon on the Mount. And today we hear right away in Matthew chapter 6, verse 24, Jesus saying, you cannot serve both God and mammon. You cannot serve, either going to hate one and love the other, or despise one and be devoted to the other. What he's saying is we must serve God, not these false gods in our life. Usually we're not worshiping the God of the sun. We're not worshiping a pagan God. In our own life, though, sometimes we make other things our priority. We put them above God. Jesus references clothes and, and food. But in our own life, what is it that sometimes we put ahead of God? Is it money? Is it a reputation? Is it entertainment? Is it sports? Is it work? What is it? that sometimes makes us our focus. You see, we can come here, and we can hear in the pews, or I can say in the pulpit, that I'm going to serve God alone and make him my priority. But to put that into action, we all know this. It's really hard. It's tough to do. And yet Lent is this perfect opportunity to say, God, you are my God. And you I find my refuge. In you, I have everything that I need. And so we do this. We go to him and say, where do I need to reprioritize my life? And he goes on to say, by the way, in Matthew chapter 6, do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Do not be anxious. I will give you everything that you need. Do not the birds of the sky and the grass of the field, do not they have everything I, too, as your Father, will give you everything that you need. But in order to actually believe this and to put into practice, we have to abandon ourselves completely to him. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. I give you everything. And I will serve you alone as God. When we do this, of course, this is when we have fulfillment. This is when we have this beautiful relationship with God as a child would have with his father, as a child would have with his mother. Of course, we go back to Isaiah chapter 49, our first reading today. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. God will never 
abandoned you. He will not forget you. He'll give you everything that you need. And so this Lent, let us truly look at our life and say, where in my life am I abandoning God? Where in my life am I serving him? other things or other people before him and then go and take those things out and find our rest in God. Our responsorial psalm today, our, our antiphon from it, I think is a great theme for Lent this year. It says, rest in God alone, my soul. Rest in God alone, my soul. Not resting in TV, not resting in money, not resting in, in, in reputation, but in God. As we read this psalm, points out what we need to do and how beautiful he is when we rest in him. It states, only in God is my soul at rest. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed at all. Only in God be at rest my soul. For from him comes my hope. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. With God is my safety and my glory. He is the rock of my strength. My refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, O oh my people. Pour out your hearts before him. Rest in God alone, my soul. Let's do this, that, let's do this, this Lent, and let's truly find rest in God.